So I found my camera and I found the uh, the little pluggy thing to go into my computer so that way uh, we can actually input the footage. So, ooh, my house is so not clean. Uh, I have nowhere to hold this where my house is clean. Anyway, um, I'm gonna show you my outfit because today is very exciting. I have a job interview today and tomorrow, uh, both for the library. So I love the library. That's what I really wanted to do. Um, I worked for the library uh, in high school, loved it. Um, and ever since then, like you can go back. I started in 2018, 2019. 2020, 2020, like I've been trying for so many years to get into the library. And actually last February, I got the job at the library here in Orlando, but I wasn't able to move. Like I couldn't, I couldn't make it happen. So I had to say no. And so tomorrow I'm uh, going to the same library to try to get that job, but it's actually a full-time job this time. Last time it was a part-time job, so it was not gonna work. But this time it will, because it's a full-time job, making more money than I'm making now. So the reason why I'm trying to get a new job is because I've been working for the same company since November. It is March. This is my fifth month working there, and I haven't gotten keys yet five months and I'm still making trainee money because I haven't fully become the lead with the keys so I'm over it frankly I'm over it obviously it's not gonna work out if five months in I don't have my keys when I worked at Dollar General day three I had my keys so today I'm going to the library and I have a interview this is a part-time position so i would still have to work at that other job like one day a week so i'm really hoping i don't get this one <laughs> um tomorrow is the full-time position at the library at the branch that i was going to work at in february of last year so i'm really hoping i get the job tomorrow but like i'm not going to say no to an interview today at another branch like i'm still going to go so uh, this is very exciting for me. I hope you guys are excited for me. I can't wait. Um, so I'm gonna show you my outfit. My aesthetic is kindergarten teacher. Thank you so much for noticing. So this is, I can't see myself. Oh, it's blurry. Okay, I think it's, I think it's focusing on me. It's like this tiny screen, I can't see myself. But this is my outfit. I have a little tank top that's green with little flowers on it and a mustard yellow cardigan on top with some dark wash jeans. And I'm gonna wear these little flats that were actually my mom's. So she they didn't fit her, so she gave them to me. Um, I'm gonna wear these on my feet. As far as like jewelry and stuff, um, I'm just wearing the same earrings I always wear. I'll show them to you. Um, I'm also wearing my grandmother's ring. I think this necklace was hers as well. So let's put these on. I might have to put a band-aid on the back of my foot because I went to the fair the other day. Yeah, I'm going to need a band-aid on the back of my foot because that clips in right where I have a little boo-boo. I went to the fair and got a blister on the back of my foot immediately. So um, I need to go get a band-aid and put that on my foot so I can wear my shoes. But uh, yeah, it's 9.34 and my appointment interview is at 10.30. So I have to leave probably at 9.45, so I have about 10 minutes left. Ah! <laughs> um, I'm really good at interviews, so I think it'll be okay. Like. Um, my mom always said that me and my brother were both like really really good at job interviews and really good at like Going out and getting what we wanted. So hopefully This will be it for me and I'll get a, a better job that pays better retail sucks. Honestly, um, I've been in retail Oh my god eight years something like that 
Um, and I hate it. Like, it's stupid. Retail is stupid. I think it's been 10 years because I started working at 16 and I'm 26 and I haven't stopped working and it's all been retail. Um, except for a customer service job which made me want to end my life, but that doesn't matter because I'm out of there. Um, so anyway, yes, I have a job interview today. I have a job interview tomorrow. Tomorrow I really hope I get that job. Um, but I just wanted to show you my little outfit and um, I'm probably going to take you along with me for the next few hours. Obviously, I'm not going to show you my job interview. That'd be so weird. But like, I'll tell you how it went afterwards. And then I guess I'll do this again tomorrow. Maybe I'll combine it into one vlog of just a job interview vlog. So this is how I look today. And I have a little hair clip in my hair. Uh, these are my little earrings. They're little smiley face earrings. And then I have these blue topaz earrings. I have this little necklace from my grandmother. And my little mystic topaz ring from my grandmother. And then my mad woman bracelet that I made. The stars turned black, which kind of sucks. I still really like this bracelet. And it makes me happy that I made it. So I'm wearing it. So anyway... Thanks for letting me ramble and get all my nervous energy out. So uh, I will see you after my interview. Bye. Hey guys, I am so tired. I just took a little nap. Um, I had my interview this morning. It went fine. Um, I don't think I did outstanding, but I think I did good enough to get the job. Um, they said there was only one other person that they were interviewing today and then it was over. So like, my my odds are 50 50 that's pretty good and then tomorrow i have the full-time interview so hopefully i get both jobs and then i get to take my pick but um what i might end up doing is staying at my job like one day a week like every sunday or something stay there um so i have one day off a week and like I work six days a week and have one day off like I think that would be good um hopefully I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen yet um I mean working five days a week six, 40 hours a week like already like I take naps when I can because I'm so tired but like it would probably be for the best if I did have six days a week of work so I could like afford to live but anyway we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see um i mean i might not get either of these jobs and i might be stuck here forever who knows trying to stay positive though i just woke up from a nap and i gotta go i gotta pack my lunch and go to work i'm glad i'm off tomorrow though i don't i don't work tomorrow so i have all day to clean my house and pack because I'm going to see my parents for um, a few days this week so um, I gotta pack still and get on my flight and go thanks I'll see you tomorrow hello hello I just got back from my second interview am I in focus I can't tell this is my outfit for today so I have these cute little uh, plaid pants on and uh, this nice top. So I feel very professional, very cute. So this was a full-time position. This is the job that I really, really want. Um, yesterday I did a job interview for a part-time position at the library. I want this full-time position, so hopefully, come on, give me good vibes. Hopefully I get this job. Um, I think it went really well. Um, there were a couple questions that they asked that I got a little stumped on, but after some clarification, I was able to answer them pretty well. Um, I think I answered some, like, more hard questions pretty well. And fingers crossed that I get the job. It was two very nice ladies. When I actually walked in, this other very nice lady was like, Hi, how are you? How can I help you? And I was like, Hi, I'm here for a job interview. And she audibly gasped. And she was like, oh my god, good luck. I wish you all of the luck. And she said, you look so good. And I'm like, oh, thank you so much. I wasn't sure about the pants. And she was like, it's a look. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> so it was just 
lots of nice people there um, and the library is like like magic so I really want to work there like that's my dream um, I used to work at the library in high school and then uh, this would be my first time working at the library post high school um, I did get this job last year in March, April, January, February. Whoa! I got this. I got this job last February, but I wasn't able to make it down here last February. I just couldn't. I couldn't make it work. So I'm here now. So I applied for the same job, but it's full time this time. So uh, hopefully they will consider me since I already got the job last time. Like they should just give me the job this time. But anyway, um, so they have more people that they're interviewing. They are closed on Sundays. So I'm thinking about staying at my job now, which is a retail job um, and working there Sundays. So that way I work six days a week. Um, I might do that if my boss will let me. Um, We'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, I might not get either of these jobs. They were just interviews. Nothing is in stone. But yesterday, they said that I was up against one other person. Today, they said they have more interviews, plural. So uh, they said it might be a little bit before I hear back from them. So eh, it, might, it might take a couple days or longer before they let me know if I got the job or not, which I'm assuming if I didn't get the job, they won't call me. I'm thinking I just won't hear anything back. That's usually what happens if you apply for a job and you don't get it. Uh, but who knows? This is a government job. They might, they might say, sorry, you weren't selected for this position or send like some generic email out or something. I mean, that would be very appreciated. So I'm not sitting around waiting. But either way, I think both of the interviews went well. Um, this one, I'm really, I really want this job. Like, really bad. If I got it, I'll let you know in the next video or two. Um, I, these are the only interviews that I've gotten. I've applied for like five of the positions of the library. Hopefully I'll have some good news because I need some. Like, <sighs> It's been like one thing of bad news after the other recently, so if the universe wants to, you know, head something good my way, that would be appreciated. I don't know if I have any tips for like interviews. Be prepared for any of the questions that they're gonna ask you. They're not gonna ask you anything that's like, how dare you ask me that? Like, they're all like normal questions. Um, one thing they did ask me that I was a little stumped on was uh, your favorite and least favorite manager. I have never had a least favorite manager, but I've had a favorite manager. So um, I was able to tell them who my favorite manager was, which was my manager when I worked at Dollar General um, and like list off these specific things that she did like she always believed in everybody and um, she was such a sweetheart and she really she believed in her team um, so I was able to tell them about that but then when it came to a least favorite manager I was like I've gotten along with all of my managers like I, I really don't have one that I didn't get along with which is true I've never had a manager that I didn't like. I've never had a manager that was like, I hate working for you. Like, everyone's been pretty great, which is awesome. Like, that's not normal. <laughs> so, um, that's always good. I, I've had, and I told them that, which I probably shouldn't have. Um, there's been times where coworkers have had little things, but um, as far as managers go, I've, I've only had great managers, so. Um, and that's so important to have a good team. It really starts with a good manager, but um, Yeah, the two ladies that I interviewed with I think they were both managed like manager and assistant manager and they were amazing Like they were so sweet so welcoming and kind and that's what you Could only hope for in a manager. I think it'll be a good place for me if I do get the job um, but you never know they might be like nah they eh, you don't like your vibe. The assistant manager, I think she was the assistant manager, um, she was from North Carolina too, so we had a little bit of a conversation about that and um, how we like things to be within driving distance <laughs> and how it was like crazy how like it's beautiful there, but like you have to go 20 minutes to go to Walmart. Like what? Um, so 
so we had a nice little talk about goats and chickens and stuff like that uh, which was nice we had a little little bit of a laugh together so I mean if anything I got along with them which is great like we had pleasant conversation that had nothing to do with what the job was like we were just talking and um, getting to know each other a little bit better which was great like I could tell that I was already getting along with them and everyone that I came across as I was in that branch today they were all so nice I don't want to get ahead of myself I don't want to get too excited you know you, you might not have gotten it so I don't want to get too excited but I am excited <laughs> I don't want to get too ahead of myself but um, this is literally like the perfect job for me and uh, it's a little bit more money than what I'm getting now and it's it's like an entry level position so you can only go up from here so uh, and that's the direction I'm planning on going is up I had some good ideas one of my ideas was for the library to host like a junior prom with kids like dressing up and like going to a little dance at the library that's a good idea <laughs> and I came up with that on the fly they were like what are some ideas you have to get kids involved in the library and I was like can we do a can we do a prom <laughs> I never went to prom so like I would go to that I'd be a chaperone I don't care that sounds amazing um, I had that idea and just book clubs and and different ways to like creative ways to get them involved with classes and things like that and I think I really would be an asset I think I'm the best person for this role honestly uh, so if they don't pick me they're doing themselves a disservice <laughs> And I'd love to get out of retail. Even though libraries kind of, you're still dealing with the public. I feel like people are a lot nicer at the library and have less things to yell about. I guess I'm gonna stop talking now. If you are a librarian or you work at a library, um, tell me some, that's not my car. Yeah, if you're a librarian or you work in a library, tell me some good stories. Tell me how you interviewed and how it went and tell me what what your favorite parts are of working at a library um i don't want to hear the worst parts <laughs> just let me know your favorite parts about working at the library if you have any wisdom to, to give me uh give me all your wisdom thank you thank you for watching hopefully 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 i'll have good news um i'll let you know either way like if i don't hear anything back i'll i'll tell you that but um yeah so Thanks for watching and I hope you have a good day. Bye.